health seeker Inga from Health Origins here. So tonight it's an exciting recipe. I'm going to be showing you how I make my soy milk and also tofu. You've probably seen um, a picture I put up on my um, Health Origins Facebook page. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to show you how to make. Let's begin. So first of all, we're going to make soy milk. So what you'll need, you'll need some soybeans soaked overnight. Um, so for about 12 hours. These ones actually been soaked for um, about 10 hours. And it would benefit from soaking a bit longer because you can still see some kernels that are not fully expanded here. They're quite hardish. So these might not blend and you know give the the milkiness you know the the um, soy milk out of them but um I haven't got much time now um so hopefully most of them are already um you know reconstituted so obviously this these are dry um organic soybeans that I've used so there's two cups so soak two cups of um soybeans um for overnight or at least 12 hours and then we're gonna need some just normal water and a high-speed blender so we're gonna blend these together um, and then we're gonna cook it to to make it an actual milk so I'm gonna pour the beans in so I've got I've um, drained and rinsed them and now I'm gonna add enough water to make up to um, two liters or a maximum actually just a little bit over maybe two and a half liters here so I'm going to do it to the maximum amount here on my um, on my blender. I need a little bit more water. So approximately 2 litres or a little bit more. So adding some more. And it's nearly up to my max. So yeah, so that'll be good. So I'm going to blend these for 2-3 minutes to make sure... Um, the beans release the um, the milky liquid because that is what is you know going to be the milk. So now we've got the um, beans blended. As you can see, it's quite a frothy white liquid. Um, and then going to pour it into a um, nut milk bag. Pour it into nut milk bag. And then we're gonna give it a squeeze. So basically, we want to oops over the top, guys. Very full. Maybe I should should have done it from two. You know, pour it in two lots, but um, it's very full. So you want to separate basically the milky liquid from the solids. Um, solid soybean okay so that's what we're trying to do here trying to squeeze out all the milk and once um, you squeezed all the milk all the water out of the beans you are left with this um, pulp okay so quite a dryish um, uh, soybean pulp and this pulp what we're gonna do we're gonna um, dehydrate it on the highest dehydrate or you could you know bake it in the oven on like sheets um, to bake it and then um, it can be used to add to burgers it's great to add um, to veggie patties so that's what I'm gonna be doing with mine so now, since we've got our um, beanie liquid, if I should say, then all is left to do is pour it into a pressure cooker. I like to do it in a pressure cooker, but you could do it in a normal pot. The only difference is, um, on pressure cooker, um, I put it on low gas, let it, let it get to, um, to the pressure, and then uh, I put it on for 30 minutes. Whereas if you do it on the hob, do it on the low, and you'll have to do it for about 60 minutes to cook it properly and get rid of this beanie taste. Okay, so I'm gonna um, stick my pressure cooker pot on the uh, on the hob, 
and then I'll get back to you once it's done. So now we have the soy milk ready. So that's, um, you know, got the pot got to pressure about 15 minutes or so and then I had um, it on for about half an hour under pressure on low um, and it's done so you could use this soy milk as is you could put a little bit of maple syrup perhaps um, maybe some vanilla um, you know if you wanted to kind of uh, make it even tastier and um, to mask a little bit of um, beany flavor it's got um, in fact let me quickly taste it to see what it's like Actually, it's not too bad. Um, I think pressure cooker definitely helps with the t beanie taste. It's still at the back somewhere. There's a little bit of um, this taste, and uh, my husband Mark is not too keen on it, but um, I don't mind it. And I think if you put a little bit of vanilla, um, you put a little bit of maple syrup, then you know you definitely can't taste it anymore. So basically let it cool just slightly from boiling you know maybe until it's 70 80 degrees um, celsius and then um, you're ready to make it into tofu okay so what you need to do is you need um, a pinch of salt so I'll put a little bit of salt in here And then um, I'll give it a little stir. I'll stir the salt in. In fact, I'll put a little, another little bit. So stir in the salt. And then what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put juice of one lime because my lime was quite small you probably if you're using lemon and your lemon is quite large you probably be okay with half um, juice from half a lemon um, but I'm just gonna add this lime juice and what you need to do you need to mix it in a figure eight motion for a little bit so mix it in And you should see that the um, soy milk is starting to curdle up a little. Okay, and um, we're gonna leave it like this to curdle for a few minutes and we're gonna check back on it. It's been about five minutes as it's been sitting and curdling up, as you can see you see the, the you know the curdles and also the water in between so that's a good sign that it all curdled up and is ready to be put into a um, nut milk bag or a muslin cloth um, over a sieve so I've got a sieve with a um, nut milk bag in here so I'm gonna be pouring um, this the, this curdled up milk soy milk into here let me just make this bigger So basically our aim is to filter out now the uh, water that's separated and and the solids and the solids is our tofu and then what we'll do we basically need to get as much of this water liquid out as possible 
so initially so I've got this sieve sitting over um, um, a glass jug to collect the whey if you like um, and and then we're gonna have this and we need to put some kind of weight on this now for you know and leave it overnight so that the um, you know the weight will will help the water to drip out of this so let me find something to put on normally um, the best weight is probably um, some clean glass jar that you can fill with water and put on top so I've got um, a glass jar that I filled with water and we're going to place it on top of the tofu here um, and leave this like that overnight perhaps um, I need to put something just in there so that it doesn't roll off keeps it the way it's supposed to yeah, so make sure position that it keeps stable on top of your uh, on top of your tofu bag. Um, I'm gonna leave this overnight, and then I'll show you the results in the morning. So good morning, good morning, guys. Let's check what happened with our tofu here. So it's looking pretty solid lots of liquid underneath let's have a look this gets quite hard to open when the string gets wet so we've got our delicious tofu as you can see it looks like a a kind of a cottage cheese shape you know when you um, squeeze the cheese so let me put that in a plate and taste test it for you so here you go we've got our tofu so let me taste test a little piece for you hmm this is really good tofu it's got a little bit of sourness from the lemon and if you put it you know if you wanted it to have a bit more saltiness put more salt when you know in in the milk when you're doing it but this is delicious now it's great to use your tofu as you would you know store-bought you could um, slice it up um, marinate it bake it um, put it for dressings anything you like so there you go, easy um, and quick home um, made tofu. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friend if you think they could um, use some homemade tofu recipe. Subscribe for more videos um, from me and um, remember, your health is in your hands. It's what you put in the mouth that matters. Okay, see you next time guys.